I just think about situations we find ourselves in probably every day and we get frustrated. We want to step in, we want to do something. Uh, probably some of it would get us in real trouble if we did it. But as believers, uh, I've come to realize that the tremendous power that we have to go to Him in prayer and to say, Lord, would you take your strong arm and help work through this situation in a way that honors you? But I've seen its power. And I'm motivated to turn to the Lord first in prayer before I try all the other means at my disposal. Power of prayer, how do you measure it? I recall being in a prayer gathering overseas with leaders from many countries. And we were burdened with the spiritual conflict that was happening in the nation of Nepal. And I was in despair. I just said, what are we going to do about this? And as we dialogued it and as we prayed about it, it became apparent to us that there was a stronghold in Kathmandu that we could do something about in the power of prayer. There was a statue uh, of a god, small g, with its foot on the head of man and we realized that we could take authority over that spiritual force and, and did in a really a very powerful time of, of united prayer. And would you realize that Nepal today is sending missionaries all over the world? At that time there were literally a few believers in the country and now it's a sending country. Now it has uh, been transformed by the power of the gospel. So when we talk about the power of prayer, and that's a dramatic example, we need to be encouraged that the prayers of the saints can alter the destiny of entire nations. So turn to the Lord first, communicate with Him, declare His word into uh, imponderable situations, saying, Lord, do your work in this situation. Do your work in our nation. Do your work in the countries of the world that are bound up because of godless governments. These are things that we, we, we can't do in the natural. Uh, our hands are tied. We're, we're bound from being able to uh, go into some of these closed nations. But God's not bound. And the release of power through prayer is the way that those barriers will start to fall and, and, and people will come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ because these are spiritual battles. It's, it's so clear in, in the Ephesians 6 passage that we're not battling against flesh and blood but we're battling against principalities and powers and spiritual forces in high places. There's only one way to wage that kind of battle. It's God's people working in unison in the power of prayer to bring down these strongholds. And it's kind of fun because we'll be dealing with some sort of a naughty issue and we say, let's pray about that. Why not, you know? <laughs> Just right now, stop what we're doing and we'll say, Lord, help us through this. Prayer is his instrument. We're his children, we're his agents. And we can speak forth uh, the words that he gives us to uh, exercise his authority in whatever situations we're in.